Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, during this video, I I want to uh, to present uh, a new tool that uh, our our um, team built it. So it's a dynamic uh, data tables uh, tool uh, empowered by by Flask. We have the same the same tool also for Django, but uh, during this video, I will uh, present the the tool the the Flask version. So uh, this tool um, aims to help developers to uh, build uh, production ready data tables with uh, some some basic features like um, uh, pagination, server side pagination, export search, export different formats like PDF or XLS uh, using a minimum amount of code. Basically, once you you have the library download it into your application into into your local environment uh, all you need to do is to define your new model uh, and uh, enable the the management of that model for the dynamic data tables in the configuration so this should not uh, take more than than one minute and once you finish the editing and uh, migrate the database and start application you should have the a powerful data table uh, with uh, all the main mentioned uh, features uh, on top of our uh, new model without uh, coding uh, the presentation layer the javascript part or uh, serializ serialization uh, stuff on the on the server side uh, let's uh, let's see how it works so i have here the sources um the um, the model definition uh, is saved in the apps directory in the models file it's a super super simple class uh, name uh, book with some fields uh you can of course you can use your own definition with more fields <coughs> and uh, other types um once um, the file is it's edited and um, the definition of our model is, is finished we need to go to the configuration and access the dynamic uh, data table um, section and map the book model to uh, to a url which uh, this segment will be appended to the slash data table segment in the browser uh, the, the the rest of the of the computing it's automatically generated by by the library and by the abstraction layer okay now we have the model we have the configuration up and running let's um, uh, init to the database the usual steps one uh, um, to, uh, that uh, to, to manage uh, a database we need to migrate and generate the, the SQL code and uh, apply the changes on the on the database schema uh, now I I will run the upgrade uh, I upgrade command um, once the application is up and running we should be able to to access the books interface and uh, manage the information using a super nice data table uh, UI I will go here okay data table box okay so now the, the inter this interface is automatically generated so uh, uh, the base options are uh, entry spec page we need to we can paginate here how many items will uh, will be visible per, per each page pagination here it's a uh, server side managed for now we don't have any the, the controls are, are automatically disabled because we don't have enough controls here is the search and also uh, here we have the export uh, functions so we can export information in PDF CSV and also filter the the, the columns uh, and super important aspect is that the um, our definition it's automatically exposed in the UI so we have here the three fields ID year and in name and the table it's automatically populated with those columns we don't need to hard code anything the, the layer is, uh, is abstract and uh, he knows how to extract the, um, the information from the uh, table from the real model and uh, populate the ui let's add some rows here let's say here in water 
Okay. I will add another row. Uh, sorry. Okay, now we have two rows here. Uh, the information, of course, uh, can be updated and uh, removed. Okay, I have here the, <coughs> the new information. I can delete the information from, from this control. Uh, in case I want the, the PDF export, all we need to do is to click on this on this item and uh, the information is exported in PDF. Okay, looks good. Let's say I want to <coughs> update uh, uh, the model definition with uh, another field, let's say extra. Okay, once the, the model is updated, we need to migrate the database, upgrade, all good, let's start the app and access the UI and see how it goes. I will refresh the page, now the, the new field is automatically injected into the, into the user interface. I can add here some, some data. So the information is properly managed. The export should be also usable. So I have here the new field. So guys, this is the, the dynamic API feature. Um, so the 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 tool it's uh, is not uh, open source. The tool it's uh, it's available for Absid Pro users. You can uh, find more information uh, by accessing the platform. We have here the the terms for the pro users. Um, the same tool is available for the for Django. You can find uh, more information here in the starter sections. And go here to and access the dynamic API service. Uh, this is dynamic API sorry and uh, dynamic data table for for Django. Soon we will list also the the flash versions of uh, of both the services. So guys, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about this tool. Uh, in case uh, someone finds it uh, useful, um, feel free to chat with us and. Uh, we will uh, provide more information. So I wish you all a super, super day. Thank you.